Hello everybody, I'm Strategic Primus, and this is CK2, a game of thrones. I am here playing as Damon Blackfire during the middle of the Blackfire Rebellion, so this will not have any spoilers in it, as this all happened well before the shows and books. We're going a little bit back in the past into Game of Thrones, and dealing with a rather large rebellion. We are the rebel leader in this one. This is what I'm rocking with for how things are working. I will remember to turn the version warning off, because that's just ridiculous. Uh, the spoilers don't really matter. I'm gonna leave them uh, off, because it doesn't matter. Uh, I know what R plus L equals J means. It doesn't matter in this one. I'm just leaving it this way, so that I don't have to keep changing them. Alrighty, let's get down to the important things for this one. I'm gonna leave the High Valyrian Cull on, because there's only one clear High Valyrian household. Well, two. The Blackfires. Hi. Uh, and the Targaryens. Uh, I'm gonna keep normal dual outcome randomness. Usually I turn this down, uh, but to either low or very low, uh, just because it makes more sense uh, and helps fix the almost incompetent fighters killing the most legendary dude to ever wield a sword. The problem is I am playing as the most legendary dude to ever wield a sword, and if I turn this to low or very low, I will have almost no risk of dying in battle. Which is hilarious, because historically this guy dies in battle, so we're not doing that. Uh, I am going to turn up the uh, current stuff more frequently though, just because I think they're fun to watch. Um, I'm going to keep normal for all of these. I'm going to turn on abdication just because it's a fun thing to muck about with. Uh, none of the silly starts. Yep, traditional dynastic claims. No dynastic stability. I'm going to have this. It's a rather fun thing. And yes, here we go. Start game. Now, some of you uh, may know Game of Thrones has a very, very vivid backstory. We're in the middle of it right now with the Blackfires, who were a bastard. Uh, cadet branch of House Targaryen. Aegon the Unworthy here, well, had a lot of kids. Most of them not with his wife. Um, one who was with his wife is Darren the Good, who is my half-brother who has claimed the throne a couple of years ago. I, however, am a badass who has finally been convinced that the throne belongs to me, and that the reason is because this one is a bastard of his mother, and therefore not actually legitimately of Aegon the Unworthy, therefore should be king. Also, he's a scholarly pansy, and I happen to be uh, the greatest dude to ever hold a sword, uh, as it's been said many times. Uh, as such, I have been uh, drummed on by my counselors and my friends to uh, rebel. One of the keys who convinced me to rebel is Bertrand Red Tusk here, who is a crackhaul. You might not know them all that well. They're High Lords in the uh, last year, uh, the Kingdom of the Westlands, formerly. It's now the Westlands. Uh, rather important figure, Red Tusk is. We'll see what he does in this one. As well as. Uh, I gotta go find him. Okay, here we go. There he is. Agor Bittersteel, who will go on to found the Gold Company should we lose. Hopefully we don't lose, because if we lose, this is over. This might be a very, very short series, because we have a decent amount of men, and some allies, a, 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 a decent force of allies. We do have more of them. The problem is, is we have no Lord Paramounts, and the King has almost all of them. Uh, so this is a bit of an uphill slugfest. It's going to be entertaining. Uh, Damon here, however, is amazing at Marshall. He's a skilled commander, attractive, strong, formidable fighter. We have Blackfire, which is what we named our house after, which is the Sword of Kings, and our claim to be a king. Of course, we're a rebel leader. We're brave, ambitious, gregarious, and honorable. Clearly the right guy to go be a king. My ambition is, of course, to uh, see our house in the Iron Throne, because it's what I'm fighting a war for, and I'm, of course, taking the war focus, because we're at war. Uh, no other reason needed. Little Aegon here is my son, therefore he's getting a struggle. 
he also has a lot of kids with uh, Lady Ran, who is a Tairoshi. Uh, and he has one, two, three, four, five, six, six sons and three daughters? Yeah, three daughters. Which is utterly ridiculous until you start re to uh, recall that, well, uh, that's his dad, and look how many kids he had. And uh, these are Targaryens, so they tend to come in hordes. <clears throat> As such, Aegon is unwed. Uh, we've already married off our daughter to Aegor Bitterstill to secure certain things, uh, namely that he'll actually back us. I'm going to go with that. Yep, there you go. And Bittersteel will be one of our more major commanders. Uh, he's going to help us win this damn bastard. Also, we have Quentin Fireball, who is another famed hero of this period. Uh, he's known to be a, another terrific warrior who's flocked to the Blackfire cause, and is a good buddy of mine. He's my friend. Uh, this does not appear to be bastard. He might not have been. No, he wasn't a bastard. My bad. Uh, he's just the second son. That's it. Anyhow. <clears throat> See, I make mistakes too. And the rather hilarious thing is, we have a bunch of really, really, really good fighters and pretty damn good commanders. And we've been convinced by them to take the throne. We are, however, uh, being combated not just by Daron and his annoying little son, Baylor Breakspear, who has humiliated us and needs to die, but also by, well, Makur, who is the father of who will be Egg, if he ever gets around to uh, having Egg, hopefully we kill him first. Uh, that'd be great. Um, and he'll be a king too, if you know, we lose and the right sort of things happen, and you know, a whole bunch of... Historically, he's a king. Um, also, we are having to fight another one of the great bastards, Brendan Bloodraven, or Brendan Rivers, who he should be handed a king later, uh, hopefully he doesn't kill us, because this is the man who kills us, as well as uh, son number one and two, and basically is the biggest thorn in the side to the Blackfire cause. I hope we can kill him. Anyhow, <clears throat> although Bastard Born, I am Targaryen on both sides. Seeing this, my father Aeon IV legitimized me in addition to bestowing upon me Blackfire, the sword of Targaryen kings. Rumors about that my half-brother, King Darren II, is a bastard of my uncle, Aemon the Dragonite. I forgot to mention him. Yep, he was a former Lord Commander of the King's Guard who died in, in stopping a plot to kill his brother. Um, it was rumored that he truly loved the sister who was the wife to uh, Aegon, and that, that's his dad. <clears throat> As it said, making me the rightful heir of the Iron Throne. I will, of course, claim what is mine. <clears throat> so here we go. First things first, let's get the uh, real uh, commanders in here. I will take the middle to start with uh, later, but first I have to make sure that I can force train my kid here. I'm not commanding anywhere, am I? Why am I leaving troops in here? Oh, I've got like, time to start. Okay, here we go. There we go. Why am I still leaving troops in here? Oh, okay. Am I? Oh, yeah, there I am. Eh, I'm screwed. Hopefully this will be a quick war. We'll be home by Christmas, right? And there we go. We have 1,500 men. Our allies are going to be a little bit screwed. Namely because they're not Lord Paramounts, and they're a bunch of High Lords inside of Lord Paramount Hoods who are at war against us. We should be fine, though. The North is not involved in this war, they're dealing with Skagos, and the Ironborn are doing the thing that the Ironborn always do, where they sort of just sit there and either decide to reave us or decide, eh, yeah, screw it. Uh, the Stormlands is also neutral, and I'm going to try to arrange to get them on our side, that'd be very nice. And we'll see what we can do here. Okay, let's see what happens. Control between him and... Let's go for Daenerys. He'll take it, and he'll do the non-aggression pack. I'm not sure if he'll actually call into our side, but I think this is worth the risk. 
actually. No, let's go with the younger one. Yep, there we go. Because we need to uh, keep the wonderful Tegarian practice of uh, Wincest going. Uh, because that's what Blackfire is all about. Between him and Daenerys. Yes, there we go. There we go. Now let's hope that we can call the Stormlands in as our side, because that's another 15,000 men that I don't have to suddenly cough up nowhere. We are, of course, also facing with the greatest Tyler Elves who ever lived, Leo the Longthorn. Uh, he's going to be a problem. Because uh, he's 36,000 men, and he's an actually decent commander. Damon on the Rock. Western ones. And, of course, the continual problem of this war is Maron Dorn, who married into, my, into the Targaryen family. Daenerys here. The original Daenerys. Let's ignore the one that has three dragons in the east. The Arryns are against us. Let's mark the Starks, because we should always mark the Starks. Because people like the Starks. And... Da -da -da, I forgot to mark him. I like figuring out what the hell is going on with Greyjoys at all times, so let's do that. Okay, there we go. Another one that I want to keep track of are the Lofstons of Harrenhal, because they are, frankly, our largest supporters. And they're an interesting group. Uh, we'll get more into them later. Okay, time to focus on kids before I actually start the war here. I know, it's tempting to just get into a war and ignore all of my shitty, shitty sons. Uh, this is Damon. He's a shitty, shitty son. Uh, let's try to make him a little less shitty. Aegon actually is pretty fucking amazing, so let's make him even more fucking amazing. And uh, here we have a daughter. She's not much at the moment, she's only six. I'm gonna go with uh, humility here. Okay. Bodyguards, in case I actually need them, because there are a couple of badass MFers in this one. I mean, I am one too, but you can never be too uh, paranoid in a paradox game. I'll call that enough, and I'm going to name my region as Bittersteel, because quite frankly, he kind of was the region of, of the House of Blackfire. Um, he's a much better just a seer. I kind of need that. I don't know if that's going to do anything for me. Oh yeah, right, I actually do have land that's over here in Brownsford. Forget about that. Uh, he got a right to build a castle out here uh, by this guy to try and get rid of him out of the court. I keep forgetting that he actually holds it at this point because he just got it. Um, Gareth Gray, another great hero. Jeez. Bom, bom, bom. And my mother is still alive and is apparently on our side. She's pretty awesome. But I have a lot of really good commanders, and frankly, a 20-33 in the middle and a 23 on the other side is ridiculous, even in this mod. So here we go. Th something that I love the Paradox added is that I can actually tell my uh, allies and vassals and things to follow me, which is great. So I'm going to tell Harrenhal to follow me, I'm going to tell the Brackens to follow me, I'm going to try to tell Blackrush. Yeah, there he is. He's gonna fall me too. I'm gonna try to take these Riverland Lords uh, to come down together, and uh, we're gonna hit the Iron Throne as hard as we possibly can. Hopefully, this will be enough to keep the Lannisters busy and or the Tyrells from just killing everyone. Um, they, they should go up into there. I don't know how the AI is gonna handle all of this, because this is a massive war. I'm going to try to get them to join me too, hopefully it will come along in, uh, but I'm trying to leave enough men in other regions to cause these Lords Paramounts some problems. I think I'm going to meet up with the Tumbleton men down here, I need to make sure they don't take Bramsford. Uh, I'm going to make my ground focus at the moment, and I need to take King's Landing. Darren's actually the men, which means I can kill him, which is good, we need to kill him. Baylor's leading men in King's Landing, he's probably the main force responsible. I'm gonna go deal with them. What I could do first, however, is knock out the Tullys. 
quite frankly, it is tempting because it's 12,000 men that I can get out of that alliance, and we outnumber them ridiculously. However, if I take too long, the Tyrells would unify and smash me, which is a problem, because there's a lot of Tyrells. I'm going to hope that the Stormlands actually joins us, and then I'm going to make my determination as to whether I march south or whether I just deal with the Tullys. Actually, I'm going to preemptively go to march to just deal with the Tullys, and we'll see what the Stormlands does. Because if I have more men down here, I'm totally marching. Oh, and we forgot to mark. Sir Eustace Osgrave. If you don't know who he is, uh, I highly recommend the Duck and Egg mo novels. The second one mentions uh, Mr. Eustace here. He's quite an interesting figure, and we know that he loses everything in this rebellion. All three of his sons, and frankly, everything he had. So, we're going to try to uh, make sure that Eustace here doesn't get totally dicked over this time. So, let's get up. Let's deal with these bastards. Okay, good, good, good. Join me, join me, join me. Yes! Come on, Baratheons. Because we all know what happens when Baratheons fight Targaryens. They get hammered. Okay. I'm going to still deal with these Tullys just because... Yeah, I can. Uh, he hasn't joined me yet. Three days, okay. Ah, excellent. He's accepted, and we're calling him in because I need those 16,000 men. Thank you very much, Mr. Baratheon. I will remember this, Arion. And, of course, Axel Laughingstorm. Uh, but first, Arion. <coughs> we're going all right so far. Not too much time has passed, and nobody's gotten stuck into too bad of a fight. Here, which can happen with the AI. Luckily, the Westermen seem to be trying to make a breakout, which is good. We very much need that. And... Yeah, we should be good for this. Let's just blitzkrieg the uh, Tullys. If we can do it quickly, it would be very, very good. Excellent. He's answered my call. Good, good, good. So, yeah, Sir Corden, I guess you want some verses. I really don't care about that. Okay, yep, there we go. We don't have the best council in the world right now, but that's because all of our uh, would-be counselors are all fighting for us. And yes, uh, to clarify who our allies are, we have the High Towers Old Town, we have Florence. Brightwater. We know how it's Florence. Old Oaks out of the war. Then we have Swifts, Crackles, of course, Cases, the Reigns of Castamir, because of course we do. Lebrackens, Loftons of Harrenhal, Bogs, apparently. Well, we have the Sunderlands. Alright, interesting. And we just got. Rathians in. We, of course, have the Peaks. How could I possibly forget them? And we have the Yarnwoods. I think we can do it. Let's actually go fight this war now. So, as you see, we're trying to uh, thump the Tullys good and hard early to try and get them out of the war, because frankly, I don't want to have to deal with the fact that the Aarons and the Tullys and, and, and this lot can all sort of uh, glob together and be a hammer in the north, as well as the constant Tyrell and Dornish issues in the south. I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to try to get at least one of these two High Lords to uh, die in battle for me and get the hell out of my war. Okay. Okay. Let's get them. We should get them in the river run here. Ah, oh, they just escaped. That's annoying. I hate when they do that. They're escaping. That's not good. We waste the time. Uh, let's try and catch them on our... They're probably headed to King's Landing. Let's head to King's Landing and catch them on the way. Haha, -ha, the High Septim has joined us. Clearly I am the rightful king. It won't do much for us, but it's worth clarity points. Mm -hmm. Oops, somebody's dead. Mm. Ball's mother. Rip. I can't let Heron Hall fall. It's not my capital, but I just don't like seeing it fall. Okay, they're running out of the way. Let's go down here. 
and keep chasing Tullys. Let's tell the Reigns to meet up with us, because they're here. As much as I would love them to stay in the Westlands and give the Lannisters crap, sadly they're out over here now. I'll deal with them. Hopefully we can catch some Tullys. King Darren of the Iron Throne joined the of the Reach. You're an Aaron. What are you? T oh, oh, shit! That means the um, the Longthorn died. Who got him? Gormand of Cockles went and killed Leo Longthorn. Uh, you, my s good sir, are being rewarded for that because you just knocked out the greatest Tyrell to ever live and knocked out Tyrells in general. He only has seven thousand men now because the realms in chaos and just just. Utterly destabilized Tigarian loyalty. It does, however, mean that the Aarons are going to be a pain in my ass later, but well, it's, that's later. We have to win the crown first. It's generally Aarons having two crowns or high, high lordships is a problem. Hagon's getting better on his own. Uh, right, let's try and get my uh, kin married off because we can use this sort of these sorts of uh, weak alliances to call in these lesser houses, because I can always use more men. We already have Swifts on our side, so I think we are Sarahs. No, Sarahs are one over. I could call him Sarah off that, but that's a petty relationship. Uh, I'm going to actually wait on him, because uh, he's the second. You know, should anything happen to Aegon there, uh, we need him. Uh, Darren here, however, is the third, so he's so spare, I don't even really care. Uh, yeah, let's marry him off to the Umber. Umbers are always a good relation. Uh, Hagon here needs a decent marriage, just because his traits are amazing. Actually, six. Uh, yeah, fine. Somebody young. Somebody young. Yeah, sorry to pause the war just to do this. This helps a lot. Um, I'm not seeing anything all that good here, so we're not going to bother. Most of the people who are already Blackfire loyalists are willing to marry Blackfires. Go figure. I'm gonna have to go save the Swifts over here. From Lannister problems. Hopefully we can knock out the Lannisters. Or at least avenge the Swifts. Come on, baby. Get there, get there, get there, get there, get there. Ah. Oh, crap. Oh well. We didn't actually save the Swifts, but we get to avenge them brutally. Here we are, we've eviscerated them, they're fleeing like they should. And we have some self sorted prisoner. Great. There's Aaron's, let's deal with the Aaron's, they're a large clump. Basically what I'm trying to do right now is beat the large clumps out of the pile. I don't care about some hedge knight. Lots of guys fleeing over there, let's see the what's going on. So there's been a couple of battles that don't fare too well, namely Faring Cross, that we weren't at. Luckily, we should be able to recoup those losses. Okay, Stormlands is marching on King's Landing. This is a good time. Of course we're getting King's Landing. Uh, I'm going to try to get the Rain in as quickly as possible to beat these errands off of my men. These are my vassals to be, after all. Come on, come on. Oh. Nuts. Wait here. Nope. Okay, down there we go. Uh, eesh. That's a lot of men. We can take it. I think we can at least. Let's round us. Let's just um, add in the high towers. Tower, 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 tower. There it is. Uh, I'd like to call in the young ones too. Where is he? There he is. And who else is in the area with enough men to matter? Brathians are coming down. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's call it them. Yeah, okay, here we go. 12,000 men already get there. Not going well at the moment. Hopefully, we can land him quickly. No! Uh, Berthram Marine is dead. At least his son still joins us, so we didn't entirely lose his men. But that means that they're getting. 
massacred over there. And hopefully we can get it soon. There we go. Oof. Well, Staunton died, but he was at least killed by somebody on our side. I thought it was somebody on our side for a minute. Ah, good. We have a victory at this one. We've broken the forces, and they should be scattering. Good. Problem is we lost a good deal of men doing that. Let's try and hit these guys off Byford. Just generally keep them off my capital while I can. Uh, the Baratheons are going for the guys at Tumbleton. That seems like a perfectly reasonable idea. I'm going to try to hit into these. Uh, cases here. Uh, okay. I should have sold the case to get with me. Yep, here we go. Defeat the Lannisters. If we beat them up enough, that did one of these Targaryens get here, we should... Uh, well, the Targaryens did get here, but we can still get there. Yes, they get a bonus, but quite frankly, I'm one of the greatest generals ever, and uh, that's a very small one. Bittersteel gets one. Good job, Egor. As you can tell, this is uh, going to be a very bloody war. Was one, so it makes sense. All right, let's free Bramsford. Get Case here on to join me. Give me a minute, you gotta go find Case. They have a rather weird sigil. Viserys, there he is. Hey, keep the reins with me. And I could use who else is in the stack? Trident. Trident. What are they doing? Also occur is that these guys would go independently called the Kingdom of the Trident. So I got utterly confused for a moment. I could have sworn the Tullys were on the other side of this. So let's go deal with Bransford. Uh, I'll let the Peaks still have some time. Uh, nope, we need to save the Peaks. <sighs> well, he did at least, you know, he killed the Reach Force, so that's him being successful and being a Peak. Um, good stewardship. Not every son can be a soldier. As much as I want them to. Okay. Here's our delightful little runaround. Ares is proving to be a badass. That's good. Okay, get there, get there, get there, get there. Get there. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, here we go. We're in. Uh, well, Arian died. Against the Dane, but at least Axel has also joined us, which is good. What's revenge? I'm gonna have to smash Dorn here. We've gained Roth, which is not bad. These were not no longer the most perfect king, but you know these things happen. Okay, good. We smashed them. Now let's go get on them. Gaining strategist, yay! Always have to root for gaining strategist. It's in the channel. Here we go, Faring Cross. Let's crush him. There we go, boys. Big battle. That should be a lot of worse. Going. Ugh. Red Trust. Why? Stop having problems with Bitter Steel. Oh, nice. We have the Aaron captive. Very good. That should either draw him out of the war. Oh, boy. We lost a Florin, too, huh? Eh? Lots of bl bloody, 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 bloody issues. I don't want to kill him because then there's a unified reach and uh, veil, and I don't want that because he'll be too powerful a vassal. So what I really want to do is to just force him out of the bloody war. I don't think he's going to, though. I've become a brilliant commander. GG, guys. We've uh, officially ascended to becoming practically a god. Him. I'll let him rot for the moment. I'd, re I'd really love it if there was an option in here to uh, demand to end war. Um, or to call him out of the war. But there is no way to do that. It's annoying, but I'll take it. It was a good victory. Uh, the forces down here are largely scattered. There's the 10th out right there. And they're going to go smack into them. So I'm going to go stop them.
Frag has joined us. Because Yonwood has him in jail. See, the AI I can do it, I can't. It's weird. Oh, the Ironborn have risen. That's not always a good thing for him. We win this thing, but it does mean that Darren here is going to have a lot more problems. If they actually pull this off, I'm surprised. Come on, Coggles went. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well. Piper ended up dead in it, though. Eustace got him. Very good job, Eustace. Eustace. <laughs> oh, that's good to see Eustace killing people. Okay, good. Let's get him at Marsboro. Avenge those lost men. And of course, Tully's are running away because it's Tully's. Alrighty. Let's try and catch somebody here. Oh, Targaryen is dead. It's the weak one. Who cares? <laughs> I was hoping he was Breakspear for a minute. Oh, I really want the satisfaction of killing him myself in this. Let's get the A quickly. Fireball! No! Oh no. Quinton Ball is dead. That's terrible. The Lannisters got him. Uh, that's not good. He, he definitely deserves to be on the funeral. Now, in the actual war, Quinton Fireball dies before the Battle of the Red Grass Field. And uh, it's the reason why they lose the Red Grass Field, in most people's opinion. Uh, but I'm going to hope that that won't happen in this one, because, dear God, if it does, it will be terrible. Uh, sadly, I don't have a whole lot of money to spend on this, because in the war, such as the Ball family will be invited. That being said, we've won the day. We will miss Fireball if I'm on, though, I'm sure of that. The Pipers have joined us, as well as the Oak Hearts. That's a very Good. That's more men. Out of the reach, which is broken, and the Riverlands, who are down here and running away. We're at 56% war score, which means this war is probably very likely to be won. Oh no. Uh, I came to pick up Khaled to help me cut down some trees and start complaining. Apparently, it's stunning cake. Uh, I'll show her. She ain't dead, but anyway, that's obnoxious. Ah, finally, we have to kill somebody. Let's do it. We'll do it ourselves. Oh man, runs away. I swear, if I go this whole war without getting to deal with anybody, I'll be very annoyed. Uh, why do I care about a Tar. It's a Targaryen. Please, kill her. They call for a physician because I still want to know about sick relatives. Uh, the Black Pearl, who's another great bastard, is ill. Gives a tosh, really. Um, good, we've got Danes to run. Sadly, we didn't kill him because that would be amazing. Um, everyone's getting the flu. I don't really care. We do have to replace Ball. Uh, I'm going to replace him with my mother, unless I can find a better commander like the Wings. Can't. So, mother, two war. Here we go. Valerian's arrived. Right, right, cool. What the heck is he doing here? And then he's off to Little Valeria. Okay, that's weird. Targaryens seem to be running like rats from a burning ship, which is good. Tullys have had some infighting. Set up probably by this Malisner. That's interesting. I wasn't aware they were doing that, but power to them. How are the Greyjoys doing in their little war? Nothing yet. I saw their boats over here though, so that probably means there's a Greyjoy lurking. And we're having the funeral. Okay, looking at the war around us, there is not that much resistance left. Dorne is still a bit of a pain in our backside, at least way the hell down there in Dorne. The Vale is largely broken, and lots of them are sieged out. But not by us, they're by this mountain clansman uprising, which is 
bad thing if they actually win, because then I'm going to have to go fight mountain clansmen up the damn mountains again, because that's just life. <sighs> I love this game, but it does have a certain way of making you really uh, just wish the mountain clansmen would not rise as often as they do. Courageous well respected the swordsman being one of the more capable in history. <sighs> Goodbye, Clint. Sadly, he can't sit us on the throne that he so badly wanted to put me on. But we'll get there anyway. We're probably going to win this war at 57% war score, given that the Iron Throne armies are nowhere to be seen. I really don't care about my extra siblings. The adult got hanged by the Martel, and he dared to imprison a Targaryen. She's pregnant. Could be a little lover. That could be weird. Uh, let's try and rescue her. Because uh, they claim that uh, Damon and Daenerys had, well, Damon at least had a thing for Daenerys, they claim, uh, back in the histories, but that just might be false advertising. We don't have all that much money for gifts and bribes and things, but, you know, at least get Dorne to like me. All the people in Dorne to like me, at least. We'll see if I can't spring her. It's probably not going to be enough, but it's at least saying that we tried. My sons are getting less shitty. I'm tempted to chase after that, but I'm not going to bother. They're fighting Greyjoys. Okay. How am I going to educate the young little Aemond? Uh, best stuff possible. Aegon definitely is best food possible, so we have a bit of a debt at the moment. I'll deal with that in a moment. Thankfully, he's going to be good at Marshall, and I do believe this one will be too. Yes, he will. Two good Marshalls. That's a good way to go on kids, especially for this line. I hope we really can get it better than Trained Fighter, though. We'll see what happens. Peaceberries have joined us. Weird. Stormlands is having a civil war now, that's just not good. Not good timing at all. Karen's a night song. Oof. <laughs> Panderer died in the dungeons of Prince Maron of Dorne, so now we have uh, Lord Manfred of the Blackfoot Lobston, who's one hell of a character. Uh, or supposedly one hell of a character, and he's gladly joined us. Oh boy, we have an apostate. Someone we couldn't care less about, so let's just get piety. Hmm, sounds of burning people. I mean, I'm not the Mad King. Uh, some errands landed. It's no problem, really. Now, yes, this is going to get a little bit confusing as the reaches with the Aaron symbol, uh, but it makes sense because they're no longer Tyrells there. Uh, I don't know how that's going to play. He's technically a foreigner in the Reach, and that could end up with a lot of insurrections. I'd very much like to take the Reach from him and award him to one of my little battlemen. Uh, quite likely going to be the peak. After all, he did kill Little Longthorn, uh, but it could also be the Osgrades. Uh, not likely, but it could be. Uh, high Towers are an option. He got himself imprisoned. That's not good. Could be the Florence to pay off for a dead one. Uh, could be the Tumbletons. Don't know yet. Stricklands. Don't know. We're gonna keep Siege and King's Landing. Hopefully, we can get this done really quickly. I'm sorry this is dragging on a bit. Uh, wars tend to take some time. Holy shit. Uh, so, the new Tully who's being backed up by the Malister husband, has determined to declare for me. Probably because we're at 69% war score. But that's one heck of a reversal by the Tullys here. And I'm pretty sure Edmund Tully here is very, very annoyed by this. That's good news for us. Oof. Out of nowhere we get a formidable fighter. That's good. I'm going to make him a bodyguard. We should put him in the King's Guard. Alright, Marwyn of Darkmoor has improved his martial. 
Probably not by enough to really count, but, you know, good enough. Good job, Marlon. The Dundarians have joined us, good. I always liked the Dundarians. Barrack's a personal favorite of mine, just because he's hilarious to deal with. Uh, the whole moments with uh, Thor Zimnir and, and Barrack Dundarian in the books are some of the better arguments of George R. R. Martin against war in the entirety of the novels, and I personally think that the Brotherhood Without Banners are an interesting group. Runestone. Marching down here. Ah, <sighs> voices. Okay, we'll deal with them next. Oh, righty. My troops have ran through the palace of the Red Keep. They've uncovered the relevant great importance. The King Darren the Second hid hidden away there. The gods be praised. Uh, ironically, we've stolen the crown of winter. Uh, so of all the crowns we could be wearing at the moment, we're wearing the Starks. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Let's just start sieging. Uh, clap the leader in irons, please. That's the war. We've done it. The Black Fires have successfully usurped the throne from the Targaryens. I'm going to call that an episode, and next time we will deal with all these pesky, pesky Targaryens as I finally... I'll end it with putting on the right crown. Uh, I'll go with Aegon Fourths here. Theorems, which one's got better vassal opinion? Fourths or Aenys? I'm going to go with Daddies. Aegon Fourth was a terrible king, but he has a nice crown. Anyway, that's it for, for this episode. We have successfully done it. The Black Dragon has usurped the Red. And now we get to deal with trying to hold on to this new crown. I'll see you next time.